So yesterday we completed electrochemistry to have you read at least concepts, formulas, everything. Have you practiced some questions based on that one? So I forgot to forward some assignment. Okay. So better. So do you have any previous year papers? Javian and Samhita? Yes. Sir. No, sir. Okay. I mean, uh, I got my assignment. It's not totally. Okay. Which one you are having? So Jan shift uh, question papers. Okay. So then I'll do one thing. So uh, I'm having some Arihant uh, 43 years something it is that. Okay. Which is JE and JE advanced level. Okay. It may be helpful to you. I will forward, I will post that copy in the group, WhatsApp group. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So every day I can't give the assignment here. Better you can do the questions. You can practice. And which questions you can practice means your first topic, first level, one questions you can practice. In that also clearly they had given one mark, one correct, single correct answers are they had given. Okay. Multi-correct answers are, answers are there. And assertion, reasoning, matrix matching, all four different types of the questions which they are asking in the JE level, they clearly they had given in the 40 for 43 years. Okay. So now we don't have that much of time to prepare the question paper. And I don't have that much of time to prepare the assignment and all. Okay. Better I'll forward that uh, PDF file. Okay. So after completing of the concepts, just go through that one here. In that also first to practice the first level one questions here. Okay, ma? Because of most uh, they are having more, one, one mark questions only they are asking now. After that multi-correct also it is there. After finishing of the single correct answers, then go for the multi-correct answers. Okay? So today only I'll forward that one. In group only I'll forward. Okay, ma? Right. And today I'm going to start the new chapter. Okay, so total we completed four chapters. I don't know how much you learned about that one. Every chapter is interlinked to one here. So what are the interlinked chapters are there? All the chapters are completed. Okay, four chapters we completed. Next, I'm going to start the atomic structure. Okay, next I'm going to here start the structure of atom or atomic structure. Okay. First of all, so what is mean by the atom? Atomic structure. This also we are having more weightage. Okay. So this is also one of the weightage chapter to us. So what is mean by the atomic structure? Compulsory one question. Guarantee one question with that asking here based on the atomic structure. So what is mean by the at atom? So what is mean by the atom means here? The smallest undivisible particle is called as an atom. Okay. So the smallest undivisible particle is called as a atom. Who proposed the first atomic theory means here? John Dalton. Who proposed the first atomic theory means here? John Dalton proposed the first atomic theory. Okay. According to the John Dalton, the smallest undivisible particle is called as an atom. Okay. The atoms of identical element, the atoms of same element having similar physical and chemical properties. The atoms of different elements are having different physical and chemical properties. When two different elements are combining together means to form as a compound. If identical elements are combined together means it forms as a molecule. Okay, so hydrogen is the molecule. Clear? So when two identical atoms are combined together, means it forms as a molecule. Okay, the properties of the molecule are identical molecule means it is different here. And the properties of the compounds is completely different with respect to the elements. Got the clarity? Okay. And what are the drawbacks of the John Dalton atomic theory means? So John Dalton, he didn't explain the structure of atom. He proposed the atomic structure. Who discovered the first atomic structure means John Dalton only. But he didn't give what are the characters. So he didn't find out the structure of atom. And he didn't find out what are the subatomic particles present in an atom. Okay. So based on that one. 
Now let us see what are the subatomic particles are present in an atom. Subatomic particles. What are the subatomic particles are present in an atom? So what are the subatomic particles present are in an atom means here? Electron, proton, neutron. Electron, proton, neutron. And what are the other subatomic particles are there means here? Positron, neutrino, antineutrino, anti neutrino okay anti neutrino anti proton anti proton meson meson and pion so all these are the subatomic particles but in this one which one we are going to be considered means here first three only we are going to be considered so remaining other subatomic particles also they are going to be exist but they are highly unstable. Within a fraction of seconds, they are going to be disappear. So it is very difficult to study of the properties of the remaining other subatomic particles. So then which one we are going to be concerned means here? Electron, proton, neutron. Electron, proton, neutrons are we can consider it as a fundamental particles of atom. Okay, so which we can call this here. It's fundamental particles of atom means here. Electron, proton, neutron. Okay. Now, who discovered the electron? Electron is discovered by the Rutherford. Electron is, sorry. Electron is discovered by J.J. Thomson. Who discovered the electron? Electron is discovered by J.J. Thomson. Okay. Electron is discovered by J.J. Thomson. How we discovered the J.J. Thomson means here by using the Cathode ray discharge to experiment. Cathode ray discharge to experiment. Okay. So discharge to experiment. Okay. So he discovered the electrons. Okay. And the name of the electron is given by the stony. Okay. What is the name of the electron? Means name of the electron is given by stony. So cathode rays are having negative charge. What is the charge of the cathode rays means here? Negative charge. If they are having the negative charge means they travel from cathode to anode. Okay. They can travel from cathode to anode. So because of cathode is having negative charge, anode is having positive charge. So that's why cathode rays are they travel from cathode to anode. Okay. So how we did in the experiment means here. So at low pressure, at low pressure. What is the pressure they had taken means here 0 0.05 atmosphere mmhg present 0 0.05 mmhg present and they pass 10,000 volts of the electric current how many volts of electric current they passes to generate the electric cathode rays means here so they passes here 10,000 volts of electric current is passes through the cathode ray discharge too then only cathode rays are they travel from cathode to anode Okay, why they're traveling from cathode to anode means because of they're having negative charge. Negatively charged particles are they can travel opposite direction. Okay, whatever the cathode rays are, cathode rays cannot be seen with our naked eye. We cannot see our, you know, with our eyes. Okay, whatever the cathode rays are developed in the experiment that cannot be seen with our naked eye. Sir, how we are going to be identify means here behind the anode we are placing. Okay, so behind the anode, we are placing as a from fluorescent screen and phosphorescent screen. Whenever the particles are, the strikes on the phosphorescent screen or fluorescent screen means, so at that part, it is going to be glows. Whenever it glows means based on that one, we can say some cathode rays are traveled towards to the anode. Okay, that rays only we can call as a cathode rays. Okay, clear? That is only we can call as a electrons are simply what we can say means here negatively charged particles are we can call as a electrons okay and here only jj thompson is discovered the specific charge of the electron okay specific specific charge mark so what is the specific charge means e by m ratio Okay, so J.J. Thompson, he calculated the E by M ratio of the electron. 
specific charge of the electron. What is the specific charge of the electron means here? 1.75882 10 power 11 Coulomb kg inverse. Okay, J.J. Thompson, he discovered the specific charge of the electron. What is the specific charge of the electron means 1.75882 10 power 11 Coulomb kg inverse. Now we got the clarity. So anyone you are having doubt? Until no, here. Sir. What is the charge of the electron ma, actually? What is the charge of the electron? Electron is having negative charge you are telling that. Generally we can represent as a minus one. But what is the exact charge of the electron means here? Minus 1.69 into, okay, 602 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Okay, so what is the charge of the electron means? Minus 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Now you got the clarity. Okay, and so here, what is the mass of the electron? Here only we discuss about the mass. What is the mass of the electron? Mass. What is the mass of the electron means? 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. Sir, how we calculate the mass of the electron means mass of the electron is calculated based on charge by specific charge. That means E by E by M value. That means 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 divided by 1.7 into 10 power minus 11 Coulomb kg inverse. So by using this formula, they calculate the mass of the electron. So what is the mass of the electron means here? 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. Sir, why I had given all these values means based on that one, sometimes they're asking the questions. Okay, they're asking here some questions. That's why all the values clearly I'm going to be mentioned. Next, who discovered the proton? Next one. Ma. Who discovered the proton? Proton is discovered by Rutherford. Who discovered the photon? Proton is discovered by Rutherford. Okay. And how they discovered the proton means. So proton also discovered by cathode ray discharge to experiment only. But in this one, generation of the protons is depends upon the nature of the gas. But generation of the electrons is independent on the nature of the gas okay so generation of the protons are protons also we can call as anode rays anode rays these also we can call as a canal rays these also we can call as a renal canal canal rays here okay canal rays are having positive charge so they are having which charge ma canal rays are having positive charge positively charged rays or positively charged ions are we can call as a anode rays. Now we got the clarity. Who discovered this one means here? Rutherford. Clear? Okay. Yes, and sir. here only. So what is the charge of the proton? Ma? Charge is generally we can take as a positive charge. Na? Plus one we can write. So what is the charge of the proton means plus one. So actually what is the exact charge of the proton means charge of the proton is. So plus one. 6.02 plus 1.1.602 1. into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Okay. And what is the mass of the proton? Mass of the proton is no, here. Actually, how we can take the mass of the proton means 1.007 my here. 1.007. So it is the mass of the proton and specific charge of the proton. What is the specific charge of the proton means 9.5 into 10 power 7 Coulomb kg inverse. Okay. So E by M value of the proton is 9.5 into 10 power 7 Coulomb kg inverse. Clear? And the generation of the protons are depends upon the nature of the gas. The generation of protons are depends upon the nature of the gas. Okay. Next. Yeah. So what is mean the neutron? Who discovered the neutron? Who discovered the neutron means here? James Chadwick. James 
Chadwick ma. So who discovered the neutron means? So James Chadwick he discovered the neutron. So what is the charge of the neutrons means? Neutrons are chargeless. There is no charge. There is no charge. There is no charge for the neutron. Okay. There is no charge for the neutron. Now you got the clarity here. How they find out the neutrons means? When some elements, which one means here? Beryllium. What is the atomic number of the beryllium? Atomic number of the beryllium. Two. Atomic number of the beryllium is four. And atomic mass? Three times seven. I think so. Atomic mass is nine. Huh? Atomic mass is nine. Once you check it out, ma. Plus, and it is treated with the alpha particle. What is with the alpha particle here? Helium. Two and four, it will be that. Okay. Now, in this one, whenever it is treated with the alpha particle, when the beryllium is bombarded with the alpha particle, it forms as a carbon, C6, 12, plus, and it forms as a neutron, 0, 1, and this is the charge here. Okay. So, this one is the proton. What is the mass of the neutron? The mass of the neutron is 1.008. If you see all subatomic particles, electron, proton, and neutron, which one is having the greater the mass means neutron is having the greater the mass. And what about the charge relation? What is the charge relation between the electron and proton means here? So electron is having 1 by 1837 part of the proton. Okay. So what is the mass of the electron means? Mass of the electron is, this one is mass mass. So what is the mass of the electron is means here? The mass of the electron is 1 by 1837. 37th part of the proton. Okay. So, this is the mass of the electron. So, now you got the clarity. I think so. I wrote very small, but almost all three concepts I wrote here only. Okay. More huge concept it is there in this one only. Until here, everyone, you understood now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, once you go through your notes at least this one is enough ma. okay if, if you go undergo this one means here at least you will get some information okay if you read ncrt test book also same information only put with that or other books also you can read me they had given this much of information clear so first we discuss about the subatomic particles then we'll go for the structure of atomic models na? okay then we'll go for the atomic models Okay. First, we'll go for the atomic models. So, we have a different types of the atomic models. We have different types of the atomic models. Okay. We have a different types of atomic models. After. Atomic models. Any one of you can tell me the atomic models, my dear? What are the atomic models we are having? First one is... We are having J.J. Thomson atomic model. J.J. Thomson atomic model. Atomic model. Okay. So J.J. Thomson atomic model also we can call, we, we have some different names. J.J. Thomson atomic model also we can call as here. Plum pudding model. This also we can call as here. Plum pudding model, Ryzen pudding model, Ryzen pudding model. Okay, and this also we can call as a watermelon model. Watermelon model. This also we can call as here watermelon model. Okay, so JJ Thompson atomic model, so we can call as a plum pudding model, Ryzen pudding model, and watermelon model. Okay, sir, why we are comparing with the watermelon means here, according to the JJ Thompson, atom is having spherical shape. According to JJ Thompson, what he is telling, ma, he is telling that atom is having spherical shape. Okay, 
in that one positive charge. Positive charge means protons only, na? Okay. The positive charge is distributed throughout the atom, like red fiber in a watermelon. Red fiber, it will be there, na? In watermelon, red fiber, it will be there or not? Yes, sir. Okay. That red fiber, he is considering it is as a proton. Okay. And electrons are he is comparing with the seeds. I think so. This is the summer season. Everyone, you are having some watermelon or not? Okay. Everyone, you are having watermelons. Okay. Everyone, they like watermelon in some, some summer season. So, here, ma, first, he considers as a whole positive charge. Positive charge is distributed throughout the atom. And electrons are embedded like seeds. However, the seeds are there in an atom. However, seeds are there in an atom. Okay. So, electrons are embedded like these. If the electrons are embedded like this, means either the atom it becomes as a neutral or it is not the neutral. Or first of all, either the atom it becomes as a stable or unstable. As per the J.J. Thompson. As per the J.J. Thompson is, atom is unstable. Sir, how you are telling that atom is unstable means here. So, when the atom it becomes as a stable means, whenever it contains equal number of electrons and equal number of protons, number of protons and number of electrons, it has to be neutral. That means number of protons and number of electrons, it has to be equal. Then only it becomes as a stable. But red fiber, it will be more. Electrons are less. Then it becomes, it won't, it won't become as a stable now. Okay, so that's why J.J. Thompson atomic model is failed. Why the J.J. Thompson atomic model is failed means here, we fail to explain the electrical neutrality of the atom. Okay, we fail to explain electrical neutrality of the atom. So due to that reason only, J.J. Thompson atomic model was failed. Okay, then what is the another atomic model we are having means? With scientists, he proposed the second atomic model means here, Rutherford. Rutherford, he proposed the atomic model. Rutherford, he proposed the atomic model. Rutherford atomic model also we can call as a planetary model. Planetary model. Okay, sir, how we are telling that Rutherford atomic model also we can call as a planetary model. Rutherford model and Bohr's atomic model both are, both are, we can consider it as a, so planetary model. Okay. How it is means, let us see once. Here. Here. How he find out the structure of atom. Okay. And Rutherford only discovered the nuclear, Rutherford only discovered the protons. Now, how he discovered and at all, let us see here. First, he has done Alpha scattering experiment. Okay. He has done here based on the alpha scattering experiment. Alpha scattering experiment. Based on the alpha scattering experiment, he discovered the proton. Okay. And he discovered the atoms also. Now, based on that one, he has drawn some of the conclusions. Sir, what are the conclusions he has drawn means here? First, he passes the alpha particles through the thin gold foil. Okay. He passes alpha particles thin gold foil. That means, let us consider this as a thin gold foil. And he passes the alpha particle. And this thin gold foil is surrounded by zinc sulfide screen. Sir, what is the main importance of the zinc sulfide screen means here? We are passing some alpha particles. Whenever you are passing some of the alpha particles means here, that alpha particles are, they scatter and they strike on. Okay. They scatter and they strike on the zinc sulfide screen. Because of alpha particles, we cannot see with our eyes. Okay. Then how we can see alpha particles are moving through the gold foil and not all means here. So whenever it is surrounded by the zinc sulfide screen, zinc sulfide screen, Okay, so then it is strikes on the zinc cell. Wherever it is strikes means that part it is going to be blown. So based on that one, we can say alpha particles are passes through the atom. 
So based on this experiment, he has done some conclusion. What are the conclusions he has drawn? Means here, according to the Rutherford, atom is having spherical shape. According to the Rutherford also, atom is having spherical shape. In that one, most of the alpha particles are, they travel, most of the alpha particles are, they passes through the atom. Most of the alpha particles are, they passes through the atom. Very few, few alpha particles are, they deflected with some angle. Few alpha particles sir, they deflected some angle. Very few alpha particles sir, they reflected in the same angle. Very few alpha particles sir, they reflected in the same angle. Later, and he find out that why the very few alpha particles are they reflected in the same angle? Why it is reflected means then he concluded that. So he has drawn some conclusion. What are the conclusion he has drawn means first point. Most of the atom, most of the space in an atom is empty. Either it is correct or not. Based on the experiment, based on the diagram also we can say. Most of the space in an atom is empty. Second conclusion. Okay. Alpha particles are they are deflecting. Deflection means they are changing the direction. Sir, why they are changing the direction means actually alpha particles are having positive charge. Alpha particles are having positive charge. Okay. And opposite what happened here at the center of the atom some positively positive charge is concentrated. Some positive charge is concentrated at the center of the atom. Due to the presence of the positive charge at the center of the atom, some alpha particles are they deflected with some angle. Okay? And very few alpha particles are they reflected with the some angle. So based on that one, he concluded whatever the positive charge is concentrated at the center of the atom, that we can call as a nucleus that we can call as here nuclear sir how the nucleus is having positive charge means nucleus is containing the protons and neutrons okay neutrons are having charge less and protons are having positive charge okay if the number of protons are increases in the nucleus positive charge also is going to be increases now you got the clarity you got the clarity all of you okay based on that one. So what is the size of the atom? The atom size is 10 power minus 10 meters. Okay. So what is the size of the atom means 10 power minus 10 meters. And what is the size of the nucleus in an atom means 10 power minus 15 meters. Okay. So 10 power minus 15 meters is the size of the nuclear. So how much difference it is that for the atomic size and nuclear size? How much difference it is there? Ma? What is the ratio of atomic radius and nucleus radius? What is the ratio of atomic radius and nucleus radius? How much ratio you will get? I think so you will get as a 10 power 5. Na? How much you will get here? Yes, you will get as a 10 power 5 meters is the ratio value. How much difference also it is that means 10 power 5, 10 power 5 meters radius difference it will be that here. In between the nucleus and atom. Got it? Got it ma? Yes sir. Okay. But Rutherford atomic model is stable or unstable? Rutherford atomic model also it is the failure model only. Rutherford atomic model also it is the failure model only. Sir, how you are telling that Rutherford atomic model is failure? Okay. So how is the Rutherford atomic model is failure means here? He also didn't explain. Okay. He didn't explain stability of the atom. Sir, how you are telling that he didn't stay, explain the stability, stability out of the amine atom means here. According to the electro classical electromagnetic theory, according to the classical electromagnetic theory, 
according to the classical electromagnetic theory. According to the classical electromagnetic theory, electrons are revolving around the nucleus. Let's see, atom is containing the nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path. Okay, when the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path with high velocities, okay, they lose energy continuously. When they lose energy continuously means here, they cannot travel in a circular path. Na? Then how they can travel means here, they can travel in a spiral path. Okay, they can travel in a spiral path. And finally, they fall into the nucleus. Okay, electrons are loses energy in the continuous manner according to the classical electromagnetic theory. Okay, so when the electrons are loses energy continuously means here they travel in a spiral path. Finally, they fall into the nucleus. If the electron is fall into the nucleus means here atom is going to be lapsed. But is that it is happening? Is that it is happening, ma? It is not happening here. If the atoms are spoiled, means here, we won't be there. That thoughts it won't be there. Okay, that it is not happening. So that's why Rutherford atomic model also it is failure case only. Then which scientist he explained the so atomic model means here. The next scientist he proposed the Bohr's atomic model. Niels Bohr he proposed the next atomic model. But the atomic model we are studying that is only. Niels Bohr, okay. Niels Bohr atomic model. Niels Bohr's atomic model. Okay. So, what is the view? Which next? Which scientist proposed the atomic model? Means stable formation of the atomic model means here. Niels Bohr's atomic model only one. According to the Niels Bohr, also every atom. Every atom it has here nucleus. Atom is having here nucleus. Either this atom is having the nucleus or not. According to the Niels Bohr, every atom it has here nucleus. And electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path. Okay, electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path. I'm not getting diagram properly. Okay, so try to understand. Okay, otherwise just one second. No one to take me here, this one. We got as a diagram, clear diagram. Right. Now I'm going to be explaining here. So in this one, every atom it is having nucleus. Nucleus is having positive charge or negative charge, ma? Positive. Positive charge. Okay, every atom is having nucleus. 
okay so nucleus is having positive charge nucleus is having positive charge and electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular manner with high velocities okay electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path circular path with high velocities all these circular paths are we can called as a energy levels all these circular paths are we can called as here energy levels what we can call ma we can call as energy levels okay or we can call as shells or we can call as a orbits okay we can call as a orbits also energy levels also we can call shells also we can call or we can call as a orbits now you got the clarity okay now let us see ma so orbits and energy levels can be represented with alphabets what are the alphabets we wrote as here k l m n or we can represent with integer number also what is the integer number means here 1 2 3 4 okay in this one f one value means it is the first energy level say so two means it is the second energy level if it is three means it is the third energy level and four means it is the fourth energy level okay so before going to that one okay let us so next we can see ma okay let us i'll explain here so this also we can call as a orbits okay so one is energy levels we can call orbits we can call orbits and energy levels can be represented with alphabets and integers also okay now when the electron is revolving in a circular path with high velocities electron is not losing the energy and it is not gaining the energy okay whatever the electron is revolving around the nucleus in a circular path it is not losing the energy and it is not gaining the energy sir why it is not losing the energy why it is not gaining the energy means here due to centripetal force and centrifugal force are same centrifugal and centrifugal forces are same here so what is by the centripetal means here electron is attracted towards to the nucleus at the same time electron is attracted towards the outside also when these two attraction forces are same that time electron either electron neither loses the energy nor gains the energy okay so clear so that's why so electron is not losing the energy whenever the electron is not losing the energy all these orbits are we can called as a stationary orbits okay all these orbits are we can called as here stationary orbits so all we can called as here all these are we can called as stationary orbits now we got the clarity when we can called as a stationary orbit means whenever the electron energy levels they are not losing the energy and they are not gaining the energy that we can called as a stationary orbit now we got the clarity okay and yes, what is another one means here here you are telling that electron is ma every electron it has a mass na every electron it is having mass and it is moving with high velocity okay it is moving with high velocity with the particular radius also okay it is with the particular radius particular radius means mass is there velocity is there and it moves particular radius so when it is mv r we are calling okay every electron it has a particular mass and it is moving with the high velocity mass and velocity is called as angular momentum only na either we can call as angular momentum or not mass and velocity okay the angular momentum of the an electron is quantized to nh by 2 by okay the angular momentum of the an electron in an uh, atom it is quantized to nh by 2 by sir in this one what is meant by the m m is nothing but mass of the electron mass of electron and v is nothing but velocity of electron and r is nothing but radius radius of the electron and n is equal to energy level either it is the first energy level or second energy level or third energy level in this one h is nothing but planck's constant okay planck's constant sir what is the planck constant value means here 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joule second ma here okay 34 joule second if you take in x means 6.625 into 10 power minus 27 x second okay so based on this one also we are having some of the questions so 
okay based on this one we are having sum of the cosine okay now when the electron is jumps from high energy level to low energy level that means if the electron is jumps from n to k either it loses the energy or gains the energy when the electron is jumps from high energy level to low energy level either it loses the energy or gains the energy ma it loses energy whenever you jump from okay in a staircase ma from top floor to ground floor mean uh, not top floor to ground floor here if you jump three four stairs at what a time at a time means here okay so we will lose the energy na okay when the electron is jumps from high energy level to low energy level means it loses the energy okay but at the same electron if it is jumps from low energy level to high energy level it gains the electron okay so whenever the electron is jumps from one energy level to another energy level if you observe means clearly so we are getting as a some spectrum okay we are getting as a some spectrum okay what is the spectrum means so all jumping or energy transactions are together if you see means we will get as a some spectrum okay so based on the electron transaction we will get as a spectrum okay so whenever the electron is jumps from one energy level to another energy level they loses the energy or gains the energy change in energy can be calculated by delta e is equal to e2 minus e1 in this one e1 is nothing but initial energy and e2 is nothing but final energy so based on this formula we can calculate the change in energy okay sir so what are the limitations of the bohr's atomic model what are the limitations of the bohr's atomic model what are the limitations of bohr's atomic model what are the limitations of the bohr's atomic model ma first of all bohr's atomic niels bohr is it explains the atoms which contains only one electron the atoms which contains here only one electron for example hydrogen okay lithium plus and li plus 2 for these elements only they explain the structure of atom it is not explain that of bohr's bohr atomic model is not applicable the atom which contains more than one electron got it okay next and he didn't explain ma zeeman effect and stark effect he didn't explain zeeman effect and stark effect so what is meant by the zeeman effect any one of you he failed to explain zeeman effect and stark effect zeeman and stark so zeeman effect is nothing but splitting of spectral lines ma now what are the lines i drawn na in the spectrum that spectrum splitting of spectral lines in magnetic field is called as here zeeman effect okay splitting of spectral lines in electrical field is called as a stark effect okay splitting of spectral lines in electrical field is called as a stark effect splitting of spectral lines in magnetic field is called as a zeeman effect and what is the another point he didn't explain means here he didn't explain how the atoms are combining together to form as a molecule that is also not explained by the bohr's atomic model and he didn't consider heisenberg uncertainty principle and de broglie wave equation also okay bohr's is here he didn't consider heisenberg uncertainty principle and de broglie wave equation also so all these are the limitations of the bohr's atomic model until here so once you go through the structure of atom okay clear some concepts i had given okay concepts i had given other some important concepts are there that we are going to be discuss by tomorrow clear so yes, today sir. Uh, today i'm going to be yes, forward uh, arihan previous year papers based on that one what are the questions are there just to practice the based on the conceptual level okay then we'll continue in the next class thank you all thank you sir i will come thank you sir everyone you are understanding what i am teaching all of you yes sir samita yes, ji
Samita J. Are you understanding, ma? I think so. I'm going a little bit fast, but hope so. I'm. Uh, I kept your exam in our mind. Okay, so because of your exam, sir, sir, soon is there. So that's why first I'll complete the concepts. At least if I'll come say complete the concept means if you read means you can you are able to solve some of the questions the examination part. Okay, so that's why I'm going a little bit fast on. Right, ma? Then everyone can continue in the next class. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome.